I just finished my class and it was so relaxing. I just walked down to the water just to take a little second before I go back to the car, but I'm walking there now and I'm gonna go get breakfast. I can get verve, get avocado toast and a matcha latte. So just got back from yoga. I picked up a uh, verve, but I thought I would just sit down, say, hey, I really wanna film fun content for you guys this year. One idea that I have, I got a lot of requests to do more vlogs, is to do like a monthly vlog where this will be my January vlog. Let me know what other types of content you would wanna see. I am like toying around with doing fashion, beauty stuff. I think I'm definitely gonna do just cause like that stuff I enjoy doing, like outfits of the week maybe. I don't know, my style is so different than the like current Gen Z style, but I have a feeling there are other people like that out there who are sort of trying to figure out like their style again. I don't know, I feel like I've just been such a rut with COVID and I'm starting to get out of it. So I don't know, maybe some stuff like that. Definitely more travel vlogs. Those are probably my favorite type of videos to make these days. I have some like pre-filmed from last year that I've just never uploaded, so I wanna get those uploaded. So I don't know, I'm just sort of brainstorming. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, what you're interested in seeing, because I wanna obviously make videos that you guys wanna see. And yeah, let's chat in the comments. Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful Sunday, and on Sundays, we prepare for the upcoming week. And one of my big goals has been to do a lot more meal prepping and healthy eating. We got in a very unusual habit, I guess I'll say, um, the last couple of months towards the end of 2021 where we were just eating out all the time. And so a way to avoid that is meal prepping on Sundays so we have good food to eat throughout the week, or at least for like the first half of the week. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a Costco trip. If you've been watching my channel, you know Donnie and I love Costco. So we're gonna go to Costco. We're gonna pick up lots of good stuff to have for the week. It's Sunday night, like you saw, we bought a bunch of stuff earlier today from Costco just to stock up for the week. And um, one of the things that Donnie's making is tri-tip. So we're gonna have that for dinner tonight and then we'll have a bunch left over for the week. But I am making pasta and then broccolini. You look very Santa Cruz. Look at her. Hey guys, I'm on a boat. <laughs> we just paddled out to the end of the harbor and are working our way back and gonna go down under that bridge do a loop and then come get breakfast at Aldo's. But it is the prettiest morning and I don't know that I would rate this a high exercise activity. However, we are having fun. We just got done. It was the best paddle. The best ever. And now we're gonna go and grab some breakfast at Aldo's, which I have come to since I was a kid. And look how cute. trend of wellness one of the things I want to get better at in 2022 is keeping my house clean I feel like when I get stressed out with work or life gets busy the first thing to go is my house and then it just piles up and I'm less motivated to clean it so this year I'm really gonna try every night to do a speed clean get everything washed the dishes put away things like that and then on the weekends pick like one room to really deep clean so today as much fun as it is, it's gonna be the bathroom. Mission accomplished, the mirror looks so clean, the sink is clean, 
the shower is as clean as it's gonna get. <laughs> I give up. And now we're gonna go pick up a pizza and bring it to Donnie's tennis match. He's playing at a park nearby. They're in this like mixed league, he and his mom. So he needed to bring food and I am picking it up for them. So I'm just gonna fill up my water bottle. I talked a little bit about this in Vlogmas, but I got this as a Christmas present. It has the different hours of the day and then you refill it once per day and it just helps you stay hydrated. So I have never drank more water than since buying this. It's so easy to go in these little intervals. It makes it so achievable. And I don't know about you, but I hate the taste of metal. So the fact that this is a plastic bottle makes a huge difference and it's cute. So anyway, I'm just gonna grab my stuff and we're gonna head out. Hey guys, it's Friday the 20th maybe? <laughs> kind of lost track of the days in the month. Um, I had big plans to vlog this morning, but I had a management meeting that started at 7 a.m. It was just a Zoom meeting, but my alarm didn't go off this morning until 6.30. I had a 6 a.m. set up. I was gonna go work out. I was gonna get ready. I was gonna have a morning and then I was gonna be ready for my 7 a.m. call. No, <laughs> my alarm didn't go off. I woke up at 6.30. I like hustled to get ready because I had to get like all of my stuff together because I was coming into our office today because I needed to get a new laptop because mine is not working very well. And then I have to get my hair cut this afternoon. And also it's one of my friend's last days. So he and I just went and got Nobu for lunch, which was really fun. But I'm about to head out to my hair appointment and wanted to start the vlog. So if you're new to my channel, I go to Spoken Wheel in Palo Alto um, and I see Casey Hutchinson, she does my color. And then in the past I've gone to Lindsay Benson, but she actually just moved salons. So if you're in Sunnyvale, I'm gonna insert the name of her new salon. And if you wanna go see her in Sunnyvale, go see her. Um, I'm gonna be sticking with Palo Alto because that's where I work. And I'm gonna be seeing a woman named Abigail for my cut today. So I'm really excited to meet her. She just moved here from LA. I think she used to be at the Spoken Wheel there. So she's new to my cut today, but yeah, I'm just headed in and gonna get a refresh. I haven't gone in since before Thanksgiving, so this is very much due, and I'm excited to come out feeling fresh. It looks like a thumbtack. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> okay, I know it's super dark, but I am, oh my bag's on my hair. I'm obsessed, it looks so good. So I just got home and it's so funny because I was talking with the girls at the salon as I was leaving and they were like, you look so good. Like your hair looks so great. I hope you have big plans tonight. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna like go back to Santa Cruz and like either get dinner with Donnie or like meet up with some friends, get some drinks. Jokes. <laughs> Here I am, my to-go barbecue. Anyway, I'm gonna pick something on Netflix and watch that. Good morning, guys. It is. Friday and I am just headed over to Cat and Cloud to do some work. One of my biggest struggles, especially since the start of this year, has been finding ways to be productive while working from home and the best solution is to get out of the house and go work at a coffee shop or something like that for me because it just helps me focus and gives me a change of scenery. So that's what we're gonna go do today. So Cat and Cloud closed at two and now I've just driven down to the beach. This has been kind of my routine and it's been working really well. I start by going to Cat and Cloud, get everything that I need to do that's in Excel, 
um, email, stuff like that. And then when they close at two, I drive down to the beach, find a good parking spot and sit in my car and do my reading. So a lot of my job is looking at presentations that are prepared by bankers who are marketing a company that we might acquire. And um, I just read through them and try to decide whether or not we're interested, if we should do a call with the bankers to learn more about the business. Um, so I have two of those to read today. I'm about to head home, but before I do, I thought I would give you the update on the apartment stuff because I've been meaning to do that all month long and never have. So I forget where I left things off. Um, we didn't get the one that I had the lease for in December, which is still so sad to me because that like is going to go down as a dream apartment of mine. I just loved it so much. Um, so that's really sad, but we've spent all month long just looking for something that would be comparable. and. Honestly, I haven't found anything that I liked nearly as much um, at a similar price point. So that sucks, but we did find an apartment that is a relatively good option. Um, it's a similar price point. It's actually a lot bigger, but it has older finishes and it's just not like nearly as nice. It also doesn't have the same sort of views of the water. So yeah, I think it's a fine alternative. Um, not my like number one choice but it'll do unfortunately we can't move into it until the, the third week of march and uh we also don't have any pictures of it <laughs> so we're gonna probably end up signing a lease for an apartment that we've never seen but we did tour a similar unit in the same building back in september so i have some general idea of what it will look like yeah if i don't sound super excited about this it's because i'm not but um, I'm sure we'll make it into a lovely home and we will have a ton of space for entertaining, which was really important to me and also like massive bedrooms. Like I don't know what we're gonna do with all the space. So yeah, it has things that the other unit didn't have um, and we'll see. So that's the update on the apartment. Um, I wish I was like more excited about it and could be like, we found our dream apartment, but honestly living in San Francisco, you cannot have it all. Like you can't so we're doing the best that we can and that's me being honest so that's it for this month's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a comment below or even if you didn't let me know why and i will see you all in my next video bye guys